What about your products and services? They're actually important to get put onto your profile. And it might drive you a little insane because Google likes to do things to, that they think is really super helpful. And in reality, it's not. So let's take a look at that section. Okay, so here we are in our edit mode. And I'm just going to come over here to edit services. And we'll see up here, it says services were changed based on feedback from Google users or other sources. Review these published updates to make sure they are accurate. So it doesn't even say review them before they publish them. It just says review them because they have them published. And a lot of these, I don't do. Like lab services, really? Where does that come from? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, mold rem remediation. I don't think I do that. So it is frustrating that you have to come in here and periodically edit these. So I'm just going to go through here and click edit. And then you can just li literally click these on or off. So some of these I do, some of them I don't. Where did that one go? Mold remediation, where was that? There, I don't do roofing. I have clients that do roofing. Home services, don't do that. There's lab services. So I'll come back through here and remove again the ones. Tree services, there's another one. You got to wonder why they would think a website designer does tree services. Okay, I'm just going to click save for now. And it will come over to here and you will see that each one of these, uh, if they have words with, these are ones that I've done. And um, I can come in here and edit them. So I can see my pricing in here was an old price. So this is that. And I could change all this thing I want, click save. Uh, so if you change your prices after you do this, you definitely want to come back in and do this. Uh, so all of these are ones that I've done. Then I will come back later, fix all the prices on them. Uh, and then the ones that don't have anything in here are ones that they felt they needed to add for me. Well, all of these, like hosting accounts, is very similar to web hosting, website hosting. They're all the same. Really, I can come in here and get the blank page and just copy and paste and put my service information in here, which I will do. And if it's something that I really don't want, I can come in here and instead I can just hit delete service. So that's another option. Didn't mean to do that. You want to make sure that these are actually what you do. It really is important. And the other thing I wanted to show you is we have different categories. So that top one, if I go to the top, is for my website designer, which is my main primary category. So all of these are going to show up under that. If you have more than one category selected, you actually get these for every category. So under e-commerce services, I could come down here, which I'm going to just delete this because, again, I don't really want e-commerce services. Under web hosting company, all of those up here that said hosting should be down here under here. So I could move them down here. You would think I could just click and drag. No, you have to actually re-add them up here, delete them at the top. So every category that you have picked will have its own different area here for you to put in your services. And when you're all done, then you just simply click out and it saves it as you go. So that's services. Same thing for products. I don't have products because I am a service business and therefore it doesn't allow me to put products in there. Um, depending on your categories, you will have different options. If you are a retail, you will definitely have products in here that you can add just like I would be adding services.